Hi, I'm Jika Sao. So, thank you for your coming. Uh, hopefully, you get uh, you had a great time yesterday with me. As I had with me, I learned something new. I learned I learned some new words. Not now yet. In chess. <laughs> so it's a uh, it was great time for me. Someone, did you have a great time? No comment. <laughs> okay. So, from the beginning, we prepared a, a quick exercise for you. Uh, fortunately, and uh, don't worry, it's in, it is in the fire drill. We have just a simple question for you. Do you think that people care about security? If so, just put your hands up. No. Yeah, they care about it, just not enough to Ah, yeah. <laughs> I guess we agree. Yeah. 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 They, unfortunately, they don't care about security. Even they are software developers. So, it's, it isn't so good. But even so, even so, keep smiling. Yeah. So, today, uh, Together with Dukash, we will discuss you, we will discuss you the latest uh, performance and usability improvements in SM Studio. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. How did you fix that? I will switch yeah. the cable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one more. Today we will discuss you the latest uh, SM uh, usability and performance improvements and how it helps you. Uh, if you should be your own policy for your product and how it improves federal uh, security in general. So, in the first today topics, uh, we call it uh, security on fire. Uh, we will discuss you how, how we deal uh, with uh, security issues, where SMU stands, how SMU uh, helps you with these security issues. In the second topic, I like the topic, uh, we will tell you, uh, look at your demonstrate in your room. It's uh, very amazing. Uh, uh, look at your demonstrate in your how SMUs is amazing. How SMUs is amazing technology and how SMUs will help you with a shell shock. In the third topic, it's, it's also my favorite topic because we will tell you that SMUs is more friendly. And we will start, I will start you with this. Uh, performance and usability improvements and before the discussion and before the questions Lukáš will Lukáš will tell you how we ship uh, federal distribution policy and uh, he will describe you how we ship your own policy for your Roda okay? Yeah. okay, so let's start if I discover, if I, if I go about security I use these three words as a helper. So when, how, and where. So let's start with the first word. When do people care about security? When? What is your opinion? After. Ah, they yeah. compromise. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that, that's true. Uh, they start to care if it's too late. They, they start to care if their devices or if their mobiles or laptops, uh, laptops have been already attacked. So, and in the time, they start to ask, they start to ask how do security, how do these security issues affect me? And there are a lot of questions. So, for example, Will I lose my personal data? Or will be my personal data shared on the internet? I have a funny story about that. <laughs> I can tell you uh, I can tell you it after the presentation. So the next question was, could be will be my account bank stolen? It's also. Or is my personal device protected anyhow? And for example, the last one is, are trusted institutions really trusted and uh, protected from these security issues? Uh, I think, uh, I believe we could think about more questions, but I believe these are representative. So, and uh, because, yeah, people and people 
as questions, they start to ask, where do security issues come from? What do you think? Where do security issues come from? Everywhere. Everywhere? Internal attacks, external attacks. Okay. Thank you. Uh, security <laughs> issues mainly come from us. They come from uh, software developers. Uh, if I remember correctly, I did some also uh, mistakes. But I was young. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, if I did a mistake, uh, I started to care and I started to ask how this, how are these security issues fixed? It's, it's important. It, it was important for me to know it and I guess people also, they, they ask about that. So, here we are talking about reactive security. So, in the new security issues issue appears, there's a time frame. There's a time frame when your system isn't protected. We call it we call it a window of vulnerability. So it means your doors and these doors are open. So your system isn't protected, uh, your data can be shared on the internet and you can lose your web account and so on. And during the during the time, software engineers and security forums uh, they work uh, on a fix. If we have a fix, we report a fix, and uh, we release uh, we, and we release this fix. So your uh, your doors are again closed, but you can really, you you can really lose some data. So what is important? important? Important is that your system isn't protected from consequences of exploits during that time, during that window of vulnerability. It's really important to understand. And here, and now, proactive security uh, comes into the game. Proactive security uh, filling uh, the window of vulnerability. So what does it mean? Practice security helps you and protects your system if there is a, if your doors are open. So can you give me an example of a proactive security? Yes, <laughs> thank you. It's a big surprise, yeah, I would say. <laughs> so, yes, as you With practice security, your system uh, is protected from consequences of exploits. And as is a really good example, thank you for, for of that proactive security. So, as is security enhanced Linux is a security mechanism bringing proactive security for your system. So with assurance, your system is protected from consequences, uh, from consequences of uh, exploits. Uh, do you have any, do you know any HTTP examples? Yeah? Any, any other? Um, uh, shell shock. Shell shock, yeah. Google. Yeah, okay. Venom. So, so for example, Venom? Venom. It's, it's a nice exploit. Uh, with Venom, uh, uh, we were able to access, uh, from one virtual machine, we were able to access another virtual machine. So another example could be, uh, pretty much installation is sudo. Uh, with the uh, data actually is uh, sudo maintainer. We wrote a nice blog about that and how it helps help you and uh, help you with sudo privilege installations. Under certain conditions, you are able to access any files on your system. So it's, it's a very cool. And for example, Shelser is the last one. And uh, Lukas, and then now Lukas will demonstrate you how SNOs is amazing. And we will show you how SNOs help you with Shelser. So, Yep. Thank you, Mirek. So, hacking time. Uh, how many of you uh, know the Shellshock 
and some technical background. Okay, cool. So, uh, one quick reminder, the point of the short show is that, that uh, after the uh, in, uh, environment variable, after the semicolon, you can add uh, any arbitrary command and this command will be also executed. So, uh, I also use this uh, exploit to show you the example how settings can be, how settings can be uh, powerful. So, uh, I start with the victim server. On this server there is a web server and on the web server is a CGI script. And on the other side, on the attacker side, I will start listening on port 9999 and then I try to connect from the victim machine to the, to the attacker and, and get the shell there. So, let's go. What do I see for it? Do you have the live demo? Yeah, I have the live demo. Do not. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, there in, in this uh, shell there is a, a, a victim terminal and here is the attacker terminal. Uh, I can use this and... Okay, so I start listening using the netcat command. And now I'm, I'm listening. Uh, it's fine, do you see the... Yes. Okay, yes. cool. cool. And Okay, so now uh, I uh, send HTTP request and you can see that after the semicolon there is a dash redirection, a st standard output and standard inputs is redirected to port 9999. So I execute it and here you can see I get the terminal so I can run IDZ, who am I? Yeah, or I can get some files in ETC for example. Yeah? Pretty simple. Okay, so uh, this was the case with the uh, with the Selenux in uh, Permacy World on the on the victim side. As you can see. So uh, I switched to enforcing. So enforce one. Okay. So we try it again. Yes. Again, I send the HTTP request, and as you can see, I don't get a terminal here. And uh, for example, we can uh, show the latest AVCs on the on the server. Yeah. And the most important here is the last one, and we can see that some HTTP, uh, some CG, CGI script with uh, following uh, context is trying to connect on on TCP port. Uh, 9999 and this port is labeled as JBoss management port T and this is not allowed in, in policy so the SLNX protects the system yeah so this is all from my and is yours again in Mirek okay thank you oh no 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 sorry and what's yeah sorry sorry and <laughs> sorry for that and what's the conclusion the conclusion of this demo is that uh, if you run Linux with send design you're gonna get a bad time uh, uh, so uh, all we have in two minutes is port 53 um mm. yes you can yes you, you can connect but also you are protected because it's, it's, I, I show it that if you run IDZ you are still the context of the AGI script and for example the CGI script cannot uh, um, access to some home directory so your home data will be protected. And for example you couldn't, you couldn't chat as a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we have a, in, in our blog post uh, Related to pseudo, the registration, we have a very really nice example. All things have zero also with that, we have two examples that you are not able to access a C shell, for example. Yeah. yeah. It's it's dependent on configuration of the of the of the system, of the victim server and also uh, how how clever attacker is to, to use the port. So. Okay. I like this demo. This demo was uh, it has been also presented on on summit yeah. as far as I know, yeah. And look at your, uh, I have a question, question for you. Was your system protected? Yes, of course. And yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you show me. Yeah. Could you show me your table now? Yeah. And as you want to get it first, for example. Yes. Okay, so? <laughs> so <laughs> really, was your system protected? Yeah, but, but not, not now, because the reason is that... <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. The, the reason is that, that um, uh, I used also confined users on, on my system, mm -hmm. and I have uh, the Boolean, which allows to uh, to building uh, the user can build on on some on some port is is turned off on my system, so I just. Uh, quickly okay. switch to to public system. Like if I are running on high and you have some trouble with system data, so I yeah. can check that. So I don't know. But if you run okay. system tools, you see that uh, in config file my yeah. my yeah. system is in for sync. Okay, so you are perfect. Have you been guys? Do you have a as you have a turn selling turn as you on? Always, always, always. And you guys? Actually, it's also that on desktop. I remember the bug in the Steam application, the gaming one. Yeah. Uh, the bug was something about uh, removing your uh, data files from our root directory or your home directory. I can remember. Yeah, I, I know about this yeah. issue. And thanks for the SAD Linux enabled and uh, enforcing, I didn't fix that problem. Ah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know this issue. <laughs> I discuss it on, on the uh, Steam upstream and okay. on GitHub. So. Okay, thank you, Lucas. So, right now I have another, I have another great news for you. Right now I will introduce uh, the last, uh, the last, uh, we are going to use big usability improvements in SMS tooling and I will describe them. So, the first one, we introduce very big performance gains. So previously, if you try to install the policy, or if you try to disable or enable Docker policy, for example, if you try to disable or enable a local policy, which means you try to uh, label the policy, or uh, you had, uh, you could count uh, approximately. You could count approximately 15 seconds. So you have additional 15 seconds for this guy. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it because I'm not boxed there. And fortunately, there is here. So if you remember, because the last time on that phone, you were uh, traveling for Super Bowl. So, you can fix it and you can help me. Okay. He's not guy. So, <laughs> is that true? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, previously, if you install the policy or if you disable or enable, in this case, local policy, but if you disable or enable your local policy, it will took approximately 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Currently, if you install or you disable or enable your auto policy, it took approximately 5 seconds. So, it means we reached hmm, we reached 75% speed up of tools that transform, that transform SEO's policy management. So I think it's, it's, a really, it's a really huge and yeah. It's, uh, it's in Fedora, and uh, I will tell you later that the, uh, oh, I can say here, it uh, will be also in the lab, uh, yeah? So, the second one. How did you, how did you make it that much faster? Uh, we, uh, we, we, adopt, uh, we adopted uh, a new user space for last thing. We did some, uh, we did some changes to make it working in uh, Fedora distribution. And uh, they completely rewrite the uh, model structure. Yeah. Yeah? So there are optimizations because with the current policy language, it was, it was pretty hard to do some optimizations, and I will talk about, about it later. So the second one. It's a 35% speed up. It's a nice It's at least 75%. Really? Yeah, so, uh, especially for just loading on the... Yeah, 
Well, no, no, that's that's the thing. It's as you explained about it. It's more logical now. So no, no, it it oh, see, I'm able to hold it. It's a free link base. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. So look. <laughs> <laughs> so just like a lot, we introduce uh, a new user way how to provide your own SNS policies. And Lucas will tell you about it later and I will describe it uh, with some uh, numbers and example. So previously you try to install, for example, uh, Docker SNS. Our game package, uh, you could fail and you failed. You failed with the following error message, with a duplicate declaration error message. Why? The reason is pretty easy because we we ship the uh, own uh, Docker policy in our distributed policy, and if you try to install Docker Serials, uh, you try to you try to ship all. <laughs> Docker policy, and there, were, there was a conflict, so you, you were not able to override distribution defaults. Okay? So there are big changes. Currently, if you install the questionnaires, and with that you ship your own the questions policy, you can see two Docker policies on your system. You can see the default distribution policy with 100 priority, and you can see another policy with 400 priority. So you can have more of the policies on your system in the same time. There is no conflict. You can install your package. In this case, you can install the pressing loops, and there is no problem. And even more, your Docker SNS policy, which you ship, uh, this policy wins because it has a higher priority. And that's the point. So, so we are able to assign priorities to modules. So we call, we adopt it, and we completely uh, rewrote the module structure, and we are able to assign priorities. So it's, a, it's, it's a really cool, it's something new, and you guys uh, will tell you, we will describe, we will describe it with a real example, how to ship on policy and use these priorities. So, yeah. okay, multi priorities in Federal 25 uh, Petrol Java is uh, a single use guy, he came out with an idea. Uh, we could require some, uh, let's say, default priorities. Uh, it's a plan. It uh, will be in Federal 25, and we would like to let the use for default priorities. The first one is 100 priority. It's a, uh, it's uh, it will be for system modules, which uh, comes from SNS policy after package. So for the distribution policy. Uh, there is a comment which we use in the SNS policy spec file and we directly declare 100 priority. The second one is 200 priority. It will be for your modules coming from other packages, coming from your, from your packages. And you will use this comment in your spec files. And again, we will directly define 200 priorities. Uh, the third one is priority priority. It's uh, all, it's already there, and uh, we know that modules uh, with the priority uh, comes from SC troubleshoot. So if you do SC troubleshooting, we suggest you use priority priority. And the last one is a default. It's 400 priority for your local policies. Uh, so you, you can define uh, direct, uh, priority directly, so uh, these modules will always win. Yeah?
So it's a plan. <laughs> we are working on documentation for that, for Fedora, for Rail. So it will be it will be very soon. Okay. I to allow that you have to suggest for you This Yeah. So without that, there will be for the therapy by default. Yeah. So okay, the last one. We introduced a new prompt in terms of language. Uh, it's called SIL. And I, I like it. Uh, previously, uh, it will try to write all policy module. Have you ever tried that? Yes. 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 Sometimes it's yeah. This is complicated, yeah. So for example, uh, I was trying to um, to reproduce and to fix some sandbox, sandbox issues. So I created a local policy, my sandbox is dot T. Yeah, there is a SNS policy rule and some declarations. It's uh, yeah, sometimes it's, it's not so complicated for me, <laughs> but it's being sometimes. <laughs> After that, you need it compile that uh, policy file you using uh, a serial use by string you end it up uh, with PyCellMods.pp which is high level language it's a high level language it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a compiled binary file and <laughs> it's a high level language and it's not human readable and it's a high level language and after that you wrote you wrote it you wrote this .ppp file, so your, your policy is ready, and uh, your auto policy is uh, activated. So how does it work? So you have yeah, some policy files using a serial user space tooling, you create .ppp, again, it's a higher language, it isn't human readable. After that, you use a single command, the policy is uh, labeled and this policy uh, is after that uh, it also into the kernel so too many steps so it's also a reason why it took 20, uh, 20 uh, seconds before that what is the current state? The, the current state is you just declare one simple rule with zero and you just load it, load it. So that's the that's the result. So no no source files, no compilation, you just use the seal, you use a similar command and the policy is regulated and load it into the kernel. And it's intermediate language. So we have readable intermediate policy language against not readable higher language we call it dot pp and uh, there is a potential for a new higher level language we can write it for example in JavaScript okay. I think everything would go wrong so there is a picture so we have, we have intermediate language and there is a possibility to write you will read the higher language. So for example, there is an example, Joshua uh, or low policy tool. Uh, it's, uh, it's being used uh, for local policy modules. So you can define something like I as one watch in a web server, I want to read my notes. Yeah, it's an example of higher language. So it works. It works, I I tried, but without demo. <laughs> so there's a possibility for us. And good news is here. It's uh, we introduced it in Federal 23, it's Federal 24, and we will introduce it also in 
level. So it's coming. And for row 7? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so who is, yeah, there you go. So who is behind these changes? Can I get a lot of loud generation? Yeah, I You, not this, not the loud uh, methodic way. No. Well, yeah. It's future. I've been bribed. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm keep writing in reference policy. I mean, the still aspect is... For most people that write, not the level right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. You don't have to use still. I mean, all the, yes. all the speed up advantages, yeah. all the policy yeah. priorities. Yeah, it's not easy to describe what you've got. Yeah, yeah. it does yeah. wrong. Yeah. Versus the it all doesn't matter. Well, like, yeah. yeah. I, I would mention that some I mean, you just have to flag the lot of the Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, here's the thing. I mean, still is never really... I know what you're intending to do. Right? Yeah. No, no one stepped up to do the high level. Right, right. right. And right. Then, well, I think the problem is still is new. I mean, yes, we've been talking about still for, what, 10 years? Yeah. But <laughs> we just, met, you know, just last year, it may have been about staying in the Just, you know, 23 emitters for us. So, um, you might say I love language, but it, you know, it's going to take a lot of time to be just I love language. Yeah, all these changes are transparent for users. No additional details uh, are needed. Yeah, we have, we have some bugs and but some minor bugs. So the point is, the seal stays here. So currently we have the PP, and uh, we have uh, a tool which transform which transform which transform these dot ppp files to to seal uh, to the dot seal files and uh, these dot seal dot seal policy files are used uh, for a compilation and are used for to are used to create a policy a binary policy in user space. So it's it's transparent. All these performance and usability improvements they come from uh, they come uh, from the new structure, new modern structure. Yeah. Uh, Petr uh, we will we'll have a tech talk about that in uh, in August. In August, so we will describe it with some other examples. Okay. So who is behind these changes? I love it. So let me introduce myself. <laughs> I was working as a record. I currently working as a still not currently working as a team lead. The program is Corner. You see that this is there. Uh, he is a panel engineer, Peter Hotelbach. He is real space guy. Lukash. He is policy guy. He is successfully replacing me. And we he is an intern. Why are you so mad? Chance <laughs> <laughs> to deal with all the bugs that you found. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he is intern and Milos is a QV4. QV guy. So, nice faces, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you and stay with us. Yeah, thank you, Nick. So, uh, Nick told you about a lot of cool stuff in, in Estelinets. And the question is, uh, where can we find all, all these all these policies in, in Fedora? And the answer is pretty simple. Uh, you can you can find a certain policy RPM RPM package, and uh, we call this uh, we call this policy distro policy. And uh, this distro policy is uh, adjusted for for especially for Fedora. And this uh, policy contains uh, uh, mainly the policies for core, core components like kernel, systemd, and then the poli uh, also contains policies for common demos like HTTPD, FTPD, SSHD, and a and, and lot of more. And then uh, it also contains uh, the user domains for for Linux users like uh, user, sysadmin, or guest, for example. Uh, this uh, policy does not contain uh, any 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 policies for third-party components. Uh, this means if you download uh, any any uh, application or 
or, or some daemon uh, and, you, and you download it and install it on your system, uh, uh, probably the policy will be missing in our distro policy and uh, the, the, this domain will run as unconfined, uh, in unconfined domain and you need to write a new policy for this. Uh, we are trying to cover all demands in uh, official federal repositories. Uh, in Federal 23 and Federal 24, we have around uh, 417 uh, SEMIX modules, which is which is what. Uh, okay, so ne next question is where I can find these sources, and we are on GitHub. We have a special organization called Federal Linux and there is a repository called Selenix Policy and all source policies uh, which you can find in uh, Fedora, mm, they are stored there and there are some useful links and if you are interested in how, how to contribute or, or how you package this policy you can uh, click on it and, and, and read it yeah, no problem so okay, uh, Mirek told uh, told us that uh, we know we know uh, how to write uh, on same policy, and we also <laughs> know that this is quite easy because uh, I believe everybody uh, here uh, listen or read some 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 document about writing on same policy from Mirek or probably from from that, but uh, then the question is, can we ship this module easily? And I say yes, and it's, I believe it's also very easy, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so, you can ship your own module as uh, sub-package of the, of the main RPM package of your application, and uh, or you can uh, ship uh, the own the SMS module in your, in directly in the, in the RPM package. It's, it's your choice, yeah, but, but uh, we prefer the sub-package, definitely. Yeah? Is that just in case somebody doesn't want to enable a Linux on their system? What? Why would you want a sub-package? Is it for people who are not using SE Linux that can explain? No, 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 this, this, this uh, change, if, if, if the people uh, using the enabled or disabled uh, SE Linux, you will see in the spec file, how, how, I, how I saw it, but uh, it, it's a clear solution, I believe. So. Okay. So another example, and you can try install uh, Docker on, on Fedora, how, how we may mention. And as you can see, uh, do you see it, guys, or you need it bigger? Maybe I can make it. Yeah, cool, thank you. So as you can see on my system, I don't have installed uh, Docker yet. And I try, I, I will use uh, module command, and, you don't, and, and there is no output, which means there is no uh, Docker module uh, loaded to the kernel. And then I install Docker and a lot of packages are installed but the uh, most important for us now is Docker S Linux uh, package and then you see it's installed and then I again try to run SC module and we see this uh, this uh, uh, Linux module uh, loaded to the kernel okay so uh, shipping your own SC Linux uh, module brings a lot of benefits uh, the first one is changes in, in policy can be modified immediately. Uh, that means that you don't need to wait while the uh, while the SMX maintainer is me <laughs> will, will fix your issue. <laughs> then uh, you are also independent from SMX policy RPM updates. This means that you don't need to wait while I create the update <laughs> in, in Federal Koji, for example. And the last one is connected also the first one and second one, and I believe it's the most important. And the packages, uh, the, the, uh, your own SMX module is synchronized with your application, and this means the policy uh, can reflect all your, all your features in your application. So the, I believe this is, the, this is the most important thing about shipping your own policy. Yeah, and the another question, how to do this? And uh, we will need uh, uh, definitely two RPM packages called SLNX policy demo and RPM build. Then we will need a uh, working SLNX policy for your product. Next one will be the make file comparison of policy and of course the spec file of your application. Yeah. 
So uh, again, some examples. Uh, I install the following packages. I create my environment, and uh, this is the really basic SMX uh, policy where I just define two types and uh, one one allow one allow rule. And this is a type enforcement file. Here you can see the file context file, and there is uh, also the interface file, but it's not important right now. Okay, so we have prepared our policy. It's just the example. And uh, this is a this is an example of, of make file, but the, as you can see, the most important line is that line with, uh, with make, and you just uh, make uh, make uh, policy you compile it uh, to to PP format as as Mirek mentioned. Yeah, so policy is ready now, and let's go integrate it to the spec file. Uh, firstly, in build section, you need to compile your policy to PP format. And then in install section, you will uh, you will install firstly the interfaces file to user share SLNX that will include contrib directory, and then you also install the 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 policy files to user share SLNX packages. So it's pretty simple. And then in post install files of, of installation of your package. You will be using the SC module command. You will be loaded to the kernel, and you ask me about the about the uh, users uh, who use uh, enabled or disabled. And it's you can see there is is a condition if if SC is enabled, yeah. And then uh, after if, if yes, then the that's the policy is reloaded, yeah. And this is pretty same in post this, uh, post uh, post uninstall phase. Yeah, it's same, but the the module is is remote. And the last one is file section where you need to mention the uh, files you install. It's not actually the available files not uh, you can you can define some uh, if if you install some uh, some your own module and you need to label uh, some files after the, the reinstallation you can uh, you can uh, add to macro the path. Of, of some yeah. files. So by the way, you really can only do uh, files only by the package? Yes, yes. And you can yes. add it in the parameters. Yeah. Okay. It helps sometimes then. Yeah. If it is needed, if it isn't a part of the architecture. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I have a very big problem with this part. Because uh, I have a uh, policy, uh, policy, uh, some of policy files for, for my employer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I trigger the relabel file, uh, it usually lasts an hour or two. Because I have more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, why do you include this in from 20 seconds to 50 seconds mm -hmm. uh, in loading modules? I don't get too much because yeah. I can ask you to, to see a lot mm -hmm. more than hour improvement. So, when you are installing the uh, Selenium module, uh, I am basically installing it because I changed the file, uh, file context in some files. So when you are installing, you have the information what was the previous Selenium module and what was the new one, and uh, what was, and you can generate the change, especially in those file contexts. Uh, so it would be nice if you can give me uh, the list or the paths path, uh, which, which are affected so I don't need to relabel all those paths and just a bunch of them. So yes, I understand that. Me too. We, 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 do, we do that in the since policy item package. So yes, uh, I'm thinking now in my head and we can, we can talk about, about okay. that after, yeah, because we are you want to have a directory with a huge amount of files on it? What? You have a directory with a huge amount of files on it? That's a directory Yeah, but I... I think it's taking that a lot of your stuff, kind of stuff, you know, I know. Uh, I can't get it, sir. Large number of files. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I have like four terabytes of that. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, if I... Yeah, you, you can mount that data in such a way that it's related to nothing else. Yeah, but I sometimes change the content on, on that. Okay. Uh, so you can talk about that. Thank you. Okay, so uh, 
policy model is now the, uh, part of your package application and it's, it's working. And also I attaching some useful links and these links for my, for my blog and there is a tutorial step to step how, how, to, how to create the uh, own, own, own sandwich model and, and ship it. So if you want to try it, if you want to try it, so definitely you need to start here. Okay, uh, what about uh, really, really near future? And uh, as Nick mentioned, using uh, Silver this uh, feature uh, makes shipping uh, on models even easier. And uh, again, another example. Uh, so now uh, this Rosalind policy contains also the do Docker package. And uh, the Rosalind package, as Nick said, has a priority 100. And again, some example, you can see that the priority of the package is uh, 100 and there is no Docker Sandbox policy uh, APM package installed. Okay, uh, what will happen after installing uh, Docker Sandbox APM package? And uh, again, uh, uh, you see the priority 100, I installed the Docker and also the Docker is installed as uh, a Docker's as Linux uh, package and again you can see two Two different, two different uh, uh, SNX modules, and uh, Mir God is saved, but the only the active policy is uh, the only active policy is that policy with the, with the high priority. So uh, it's pretty easy, and uh, it's what it's changed in the parameter in in the SC module. So it's same like the example. Yeah, but it's both the new new policy stuff. Is that the same name? I want to know. Which one is which? Uh, due to numbers. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I have the uh, the note one policy, which is the doctor. Yeah. It is, it is called doctor. Yeah. Then I cancel the one. How do I know which one is the current one? The number versus both of them have doctor name. None of them has gives me the distinction which is which. Well, the 100 is always going to be the system. Yes. Yeah. The 100 is always going to be the system. Yes. So if you see there, there's one at 300, then you know that it's going to be an yeah. add-on. Yes. Or 400, you know, it's going to be locally generated. Yeah, the fact that this is the reason why uh, we could get a better uh, file, the file table. We have mentioned that we have uh, for for uh, as a troubleshoot. Uh, plugins we have uh, the priority 300. The default is 400, and, and this is the reason. Okay. Okay, uh, your own Linux module can be installed without any changes in this policy, and this is also um, perfect new, especially for me, because uh, if you uh, if you want um, to ship your own module without the without the uh, without the new user space, uh, firstly I need to remove the 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 policy from our distro, distro policy, and uh, it's also a cool thing. Hey. And uh, the last thing is that security means be tested in Excel. Please set up on one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, any questions? I think I put that. I think we are out, 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 out of time, yeah. so let's give you a question to your hand. Yeah. 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 So, also, if you have any questions, just set up. Thank you. Yes. Uh, 